Papa, from here to here is how many miles? From from here to here, about five uh, five yeah, miles. From, from from my house right here to to the school right here, it was two miles. Two miles. Okay, so this here was farmland. My dad used to grow a lot of corn in this area of here. Corn, uh, and there was an alfalfa field because it's wide. It's probably about the width of two city blocks from here to here. Okay, from here on, the, uh, the, uh, the hillside went up. Okay, all this here was for uh, cows, to raise cows. My, dad, my grandfather used to maintain 200 head. And every year, uh, the buyers used to come there and buy the steers for, for me. And they used to buy them, take them to the city, I don't know where the hell they took them to. But they used to buy a whole thing, and they used to be like cowboys, because they used to buy some from uh, my cousins up here, from other farmers, and they gather all the colored cattle together, and they take probably 200 head of cattle together. It's three or four cowboys. And where would they bring the cattle, you think? They would take my own, when the hell they take them to. But don't go that way, huh? Uh, yeah, they went all towards, towards Silver City. And you had cattle over here too, you are saying, right? Yeah, right. And there's a, there was a water, uh, another water river around, remember I told you those mountains went up like this say? Right. And that's where the cattle, and then they go down, there's another canyon, they had water right. for, the, for them to drink. And then there's a lot of pasture. They, they, those cattle, they, they just sit there. And what you do, you got a fence, your property is fenced in, so the cattle stay in. You don't got to feed them or anything, they got everything they right there. Okay. The only thing I used to do with my grandfather, we used to take block of, block of, of uh, uh, blocks of uh, salt. <laughs> I forget names. Can you hear Did you hear the background? <laughs> yeah, we used to get a block of salt. The block of salt is just a little bigger than this here. Yep, and you give it to the cattle. And you put about in the pasture, and the cows go they love that. For a treat? Why would you give them? No, a... just put them out there in the field. You put a lot of them in there. As, soon, was... as soon as they see those uh, blocks of ice, they come there and boy, uh, uh, they lick the head. It off. was salt or ice? Huh? It was salt or ice? It was salt. Salt, okay. It was blocks of salt. And that was just a treat for the cattle, right? Well, there's a treat, and at the same time, it, it's good for the health. Good for the health. What are you, what are you looking at? My mother keeps on yelling stuff in the background, so... Alright, so a doctor eventually... Okay, what is the one? She, say, she said salt, a block of salt. Oh! So, uh... Oh, your mother said. She's there back there? Yeah, she's listening. So, uh... Okay, mom. Block of salt! Uh... Come over here and fix me a block of uh, toast. What do you, what do you call this that I heated up here? Chorizo and potatoes. And you don't like that? So no, I like it, but they have to be real warm, and I want some toast. All right. Uh, I I don't. Hey, wait a minute. You let her do it. Uh, we're talking over here, right? All right. I don't want it right now, but when she gets tired. Mom could. She don't all have right. to do it right now. All right. Yeah. Okay, Uncle. Hey, you not gonna put all that on that camera. I am. I am. This is an important part of history. So uh, basically, why did everyone decide to leave this area though? That's my question. It's a great area for farm. You had cattle, you had corn, apple, pears, you had everything there. It's a beautiful area. Why did everybody leave? That's a good question. Do you think it has something to do with the ghosts? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> my dad got tired of farming. Uh huh. So that's the reason he came to California. Right. And he had two ants. They used to live in, uh, you know where Dodger Stadium is? Yeah. One, one ant used to live there. And then about four or five blocks from there, there was another ant. No, oh, wait a minute, what, what did you put there? You, you, you're <laughs> drawing it right to the cattle field. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the cattle field. This is in LA. <laughs> oh, well, we get to, but uh, we well, see the cattle field is a real big. <laughs> it's okay, you can start a new one. No, you're going back now in, in, in LA. Come on. What happened to the people, you said? Yep, yep. Okay, so my dad, after living in California a few years, then he like, gets so laid off, he goes back to farming. He farmed for 12 years, and then, in 1939, he decided to come back to California. And he but, had some but money, over he here, you know, He money. used to raise a lot of big alfalfa fields, 
Because, you know, this is small here. It, it, it was probably a half a mile. Right. And he used to have a, a garden here. What he used to play, radishes, carrots, and everything like that. And then a, 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 a chili garden. And then some potatoes. And then the rest would be alfalfa fields. Because, you know what? Uh, they used to sell a lot of alfalfa because there was a lot of cattle all the way around. So uh, your grandfather stayed? My grandfather stayed there and he died there. He died there. Who was, well, he, who he was he with him there. when he died? Huh? Who, who was with him? Yeah, his... Well, man, before, when he got pretty old like me, uh -huh. and nobody, he couldn't find nobody. Well, he found the Grijalvas to do the farming, but they were poor farmers. What was their names? Uh, Grijalvas. Grijalvas. Yeah. Anyway, uh, by... In other words, when we left, there was very little farming. Because you know what? My brother, my uh, dad's uh, brother, used to live in San Lorenzo. Right. And they had a lot of land over here. He had a lot of land. He used to raise a lot of cattle. And he got to the age where he didn't want to do any more farming. Because farming is, is uh, you have to be in pretty good health. Yeah, yeah. You got those plows, you got a whole lot here. In fact, you know, by the time I was uh, 10 years old, I was operating the uh, hay rack because you know what my dad used to farm a lot of uh, probably 10 acres of alfalfa fields and when the alfalfa gets about this high you mow it down you got this uh, long blade probably a little longer than this table that goes back and forth mm -hmm. and it cuts a it cuts a hay and and you leave, you leave the hay there it goes all the way to the end and it comes back goes back and forth until the whole field is uh, cut and the hay stays there for four or five days. By that time, it's dry. It's uh, just what you want. You're hoping that it doesn't rain because it rains, that uh, the, the hay that he cut turns dark. So they, they used to go by there. They used to have a, what they call it, almanac or something like that and find out when they were going to get rain. So they would figure that after the rains or before the rains, they would cut this hay and then they had a big baler at the end of the field where the, haze, uh, where the bales of hay are formed. Right. And what you do, my job was to rake that hay, the, the hay that he mowed down. I used to operate two horses with this rake about 10 feet wide and it's got blades like this here. So you rake in the hay so far and as they see that it's full, yeah, they step on the lever over here and it goes up and it forms a hill of hay. Then you drop your deals again and rake again another, another 10 feet and you raise them up again. So you've got rows and rows of that dry hay. At the very end of the field you got what they call a baler machine. And what they do is a big chute like this here that you put the, you put the hay here and then you got a horse that is Work in this baler. Have you ever seen that? No, no. He goes around the circle, so I bet. I right? rather than rather than circles, and when it comes to a certain area, uh -huh. that, that pushes the hay in, and then it's pressed into a bale of hay. About a bale of hay is about this in. Then you got a guy on this side and a guy on this side, and you run the wire through it to make a. <laughs> That's so you got to pick all that up, put it in a truck, and then yeah, yeah. Right to the, wow, that you got to be in good shape to do all that. Yeah, and you were doing that at fourteen or twelve. No, no, or 10. I was just doing the raking. Just raking and huh? bringing the the hay to the baler. Yeah, farmers are strong. Huh? The farmers are strong people. You got to yeah. be real strong to be a farmer. You have to be in good shape. So who was yeah. the who was the last to leave the area? Your cousins here, or your uncle Frank still still did it for a while because you you said that your your dad went to L.A. And your grandfather, he eventually My moved. grandfather stayed there, and they had a, a, uh, he had a, a daughter that uh, never got married, and she used to live with him. Her name was Maggie, Aunt Maggie. Maggie? Yeah. That's a good name. And, and, and he, she used to live with my grandfather there. So anyway, then uh, she died, and then my grandfather was probably my age or a little younger, and he, he went back to Deming, New Mexico. To live with who? Uh, the, the hospital. Oh, hospital, okay. He went to the hospital, that's why he died, and uh -huh. that's why he's buried. Okay, and then uh, your cousin stayed here uh, longer than your grandfather? Oh, yeah, this cousin's here. But you know what? Those cousins were just two years apart from us, 
and they start dying about 10 to 15 years before we did. And so they never so, found so about now all this Grihalvas I'm talking about, yeah. they're all dead. Grihalvas was her name, your cousin's yeah. her name is Grihalvas. She had, remember I told you she had nine kids. Nine kids, right. But they're all gone. The, and the so, last one just died two years ago. Let me ask you, nobody could sell the land? Like if you're going to move, you would think to today's... Oh yeah, yeah, my grandfather sold this land to uh, a doctor. To a doctor? A doctor, yeah. We went there when the doctor was there. And what did the doctor do with that land? Just Nothing, just uh, stayed there. It just stayed there. Uh, and, I think it was just for investment. Well, he liked it area because he used to work, work in Deming. Yeah. As a doctor. So uh, another thing to find a farmer because most of the people live there, they got their own land to farm. Right. All right, so uh, the doctor bought this area, maybe because it was a beautiful area. If you drove to this area today, it would be in the same state. It would be all like old. Oh yeah, it would be the, it's probably still there now. Right, but there wouldn't be condominiums here. No. There wouldn't be apartments. You think it would all still be country? And why don't you think they developed this area? What like, the hell are they gonna do? It's that far out there. It's not the a little bit. Yeah, but you've got your own land. You've got your farmers that, that, that take care of that land. Right. You just got like, so many acres. Because I'm just used to, in some areas, they, they develop the areas. Like it well, starts off as farming in Connecticut. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, I just found out. Yeah. I haven't been there in 20 years. Right. But my cousin was telling me there's a lot of people from, te uh, from Texas right. that like to come there for the summertime because the, the lake, I'm telling you about Lake Roberts, they, they do a lot of fishing and, and honey. So what they do, I uh, uh, hear that uh, this doctor sold this across the river, uh, across the highway, uh, uh, sold it in acres to, to people that want to build something. Okay, so there might be little cottages or something there, like there summer houses. Like yeah. kind of I haven't been there for a long time, so right. I don't know. Yeah. And so you identified this house as being a, being a haunted house right here. This is the Cabriol storage house. Yeah. Where was the other haunted house? The there? house is haunted here. And there's another one. This is a store. There's another one over here. And who lived in that house? A cousin or something? Uh, that's my grand. That's where my mother was born. And who do you think lived in that house where your mom was born? Nobody lives there now. Right. Yeah, no, it's haunted. <laughs> right. Okay. So that was another haunted house. That was another haunted house. And, and so it's this one here. Yeah. Right here, haunted house. Okay, so then the, there's a more the, the, in, in between. That Mr. Bird lives right over here, and this is not big enough. So Who, when did Mr. Bird show up? And that was the four different families right here. When did the when did the German show up? When did Mr. Bird show up? Oh, he was there when I was born. I don't know. Oh, he was there before. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, he was there a long, long time ago in. Uh, the poor guy had lost an eye. Uh huh. He could only see with one eye. <laughs> and he had been a farmer his whole life. Well, he had, uh, he had two, three guys working for him. Uh, in other words, he he used to have some cattle up here too. See, my my, my, my grandfather and my dad had the cattle over here, and then there was Mr. Uh, Bird. And so, where was Bird? Right, like Quijaw uh, uh, Square. Bird was just north of us. Like right here. Yeah. Okay, this is Bird, Bird's house. I don't know why you want all that information there for. I would, I'm, a, I'm just. It's like a business. mystery. It's like a mystery of the area, because uh, I'm just curious. I I believe in ghosts. I've seen my share of ghosts, to say the least, and so I'm wondering why they were interested in this area here. Oh, okay, no. Let me tell you, when we came to California, uh huh, there was two hundred houses on uh, in East LA. 